Hi guys, it's uh, it's Atlas Gaming, and I'm gonna go through uh, the the coming quarter from uh, Curse of Next Ramos. It's called the Play Quarter, and it's uh, the follow-up from um, the Arachnid Quarter that we did uh, this current week and last week. It was uh, it was pretty easy actually. I was quite surprised how easy the heroic part even was, and well, the toughest boss was May Exna. But uh, let's go over the the new quarter that's going to open. It's it's like I said, it's called the the play quarter, and it's just like in uh, in World of Warcraft. And I I spend a lot of time playing that game, so I've I've been to Naxxramas several times, even on 40 man and on 10 and 25 man in the in the later expansions. But it's the it's the next quarter that uh, we will uh, that we will face in the game. And uh, the bosses that we're going to face in this quarter is called North the Plaguebringer and Hagen the Unclean and Lotep. And just by glancing these uh, these three enemies, uh, I, I I try to analyze the the abilities that, are, and I will go through them because they're going to be quite similar as the ones that you face in World of Warcraft. So that's that's pretty exciting. The first guy we're going to to meet inside this uh, this uh, plague quarter is called uh, Not the Plague Bringer. And if you ever faced the uh, faced the fight, he would stand on his uh, his balcony in World of Warcraft, and and I think he was going to summon minions. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while since I've been there. But if we just take a look at Not the Plague Bringer in Hearthstone, he's uh, his hit points is uh, exactly the same as the three previous bosses that were faced in the Arachnid Quarter. So there's no big deal there. 30 and 45 hit points. What I want to point out about this boss is uh, his hero ability. It's called Race Dead and it's a passive ability. It's uh, it's whenever an enemy minion dies, raise uh, a skeleton. And a heroic it's a 5-5 five five skeleton and a normal it's a 1-1 one one skeleton. That is uh, that's quite quite a nasty ability, especially on heroic. I don't think it's going to be a big deal on normal mode though. But heroic, I have no idea on how I'm going to tackle that one. Um, maybe by not having any minions out at all. Well, not a lot. Maybe just play one minion at the time and have one minion on the board and try to go for a mana curve that says. Yeah, around between four and five mana, and get minions in that uh, in that spread, and just keep one minion down at a time. If you overdo a minion uh, a minion play in this uh, in this fight on heroic, uh, you will get squashed very very fast. Because if we look at his uh, special card, he has a card called Plague. It says destroy all non skeleton minions. So if you have like a board full of minions, this is not good. Um, you will that that's instant death I think. So that rules out uh, any Sue deck on this fight and it rules out uh, I think the shaman really and it rules out uh, a paladin. Um I think that maybe a warrior charge deck or yeah, I think warrior charge deck is the one I'm going for. And going for that that mid mana curve uh, spread in my minions and I'm looking forward to this fight but it's definitely gonna be a very hard one on heroic the next boss we're going to face is called the Hagen the Unclean and uh, when you face him in World of Warcraft you would split up into two rooms and there would be like s massive summonings of different minions and when this phase was over you were going to fight uh, Hagen the Unclean in the center of the room but uh, if we take a look at the Hearthstone ability, he has uh, the exact same HP as uh, Noth and uh, the previous bosses in the Arachne Quarter. Uh, no big deal there. And if we take a look at the Heroic Power, it's called Eruption. Uh, it de it's uh, deal 3 damage to the leftmost enemy minion. And I assume it's the leftmost enemy minion. It's my leftmost. But we will find out. Either way, it's, uh, then it's just the right one. It doesn't really matter. It's not like that you have one trivers you could go with all the tries that you really want, so that's not so bad. Uh the cards that I want to use to probably counter this is uh it's maybe a shield bearer and um 
some minions with high HP and a low cost. And I will probably go as a priest for this one to, to buff the HP of that current minion. Uh, to, to tackle this, so I think it's going to be quite easy actually. And if we look at the, his hero power, it's called my apocalypse. Both players draw two cards and gain one mana, uh, gain a mana crystal. That's uh, that's a hero power that benefits you as well. Um, I'm not sure how North is, uh, I mean uh, Hagen is going to utilize this, but uh, we will see. But I think uh, for now he's going to be the easiest part on heroic. The last encounter is called uh, Lotep, and he's the final boss in the in the in the play quarter. The fight was really great in World of Warcraft. Uh, these random fungus would spawn and you could get buffed and stuff like that and there was a lot of damage during the fight. But yet again it's a different story. If we take a look at the, the hit points or HP for this, uh, this boss, it's 75 on normal and 99 on heroic, that's a lot. And then you might think, okay this is going to be impossible, but no, it's not. Let's start off by just glancing at uh, his uh, his hero power. It's not the biggest of deals, but it's deal 3 damage to the enemy hero at 2 and 0 cost on heroic. That means on heroic that you will suffer 3 damage at a minimum every, every and each turn. So I would probably go as a priest for this one to keep alive with a lot of self healing or maybe even a paladin on this one. So if we consider the special cards that he has, that's the interesting part about this fight. He have Death Blossom, and uh, Death Blossom is a four four mana cost card. It's a it's a spell. It's it says deal five damage to a minion, and summon a spore. So that's a that's a single damage card to one minion of yours. And then there's the spur spore burst card. It's a, it's an AOE card cost one mana and it's deal one damage to all enemy minions and summon a spore. Now what is this spore all about? It's uh, the spore is uh, has a death rattle. It uh, gives all enemy minions plus eight attack. And it's a zero one minion. And it works exactly as it did in World of Warcraft. When you kill the spore, you would get a uh, get a buff. So that's the point of this fight. And this should count uh, the the fact that he has so much HP. I might go with a with a Zoo deck on this one too. I'll see if I can make sort of a priest Zoo deck. I'm not sure about that, but I'm gonna use some cheap minions. I don't wanna go for for big minions with all sort of fancy effects. I just wanna get a lot of minions out fast so I can utilize uh, the spore effect and get plus eight, and then uh, try to nuke him down that way. So to look back on all the bosses that we're going to face, I think that the North is going to be the toughest and that the other two, uh, Lotep and Hagen the Unclean, is going to be a walkover. But uh, I'm going to post the videos as soon as I do it on Heroic and I should do that quite fast I think. Uh, so, so stay tuned and uh, subscribe so you can get the updates on the heroic kills that I will do and uh, I will of course do a deck list so you guys can see what cards I end up using. So see you guys out there and stay tuned, be a good gamer. Bye bye.